this video, I'm building an insane dream house out of Lego with luxury amenities and tons of space for activity. But first, who are we building this for? <gasps> This is Lego Bob, the generic Lego minifigure we've all become quite familiar with as he's acted as the mascot and face of the Lego company since the 1900s. There's even a massive set of an upscaled version of Bob. And not only that, Lego has an entire backstory for this character. But I decided to write my own story, and let's just say Bobbert's about to get a major upgrade. Basically, Bob is filthy rich, but he currently lives in this eco-friendly modern house while his hard-earned dollars accumulate even more wealth. He drives this electric car that can be powered with this charge station. Just reach in here. Oh my gosh, come on, come on. Got it. And he also has an entire greenhouse with organic tomatoes, carrots, and turnips. He also has a little doggo named Ross, and he gets kind of excited when Bob comes home. Oh boy. Inside the house, it's kind of cramped, but there's a kitchen, a dog bowl, and a bathroom. Upstairs is his bed where Bob can scroll TikTok endlessly and a lounge area with the cool lava lamp and of course a game console. However, Bob received shocking news that his house had a critical gas line leak and he needed to evacuate immediately. AKA, I needed those parts for the latter part of the video. Bob needed to find the new house quick, but then he remembered he's literally a billionaire and could have retired last Tuesday, so he took some cash and went looking for a new house. And while he was contacting his realtor, he decided to go shopping in this massive department store with tons of cushy sofas, this pool table, Aww. TVs, appliances, and so much more. But the first thing Bob bought was this electric sports car with sleek windows, a sharp color scheme, and a spoiler. Because everybody knows that a spoiler makes it that much cooler. And with his new whip, he went to check out the house. But it wasn't exactly what he had in mind. Well, the cottage was indeed cozy. Two stories, and it had a fireplace, king bed, and three bowls of tomato soup. It just wasn't large enough for Bob and all of his stuff. And there was no garage for his new whip. Frustrated with the lack of affordable mansions on the market, Bob decided to build his own house. So to start this dream house, we need to lay out a foundation. And to do that, I'm stacking plates on top of bricks to make a proper mills plate, which means it's totally fit for add-ons. Next, I need a front door. And since I didn't have any doors large enough, I made my own with these glass pieces that slide open just like the doors at Walmart, but just more luxuriously. Then I got to work on the walls and added these massive windows out front. I continued building the sides and added cupboards into the walls and the stovetop and vent. I continued to the living area Area, making this sweet see-through fireplace bordered in stone. I finished off the walls with some more windows, and now we've got a living area complete with a slate floor. And for the kitchen, I used this nice tan tile color. On the back, there's a perfect spot, so I got to work on the walls and installed these glass see-through lava lamps as a huge upgrade to what Bob had previously. Then I added this glass door to the patio, and I finished it off with some drawers. I laid down some white flooring. Well, actually, Bob did, because the contractors refused to work past 5 p.m. And just when you thought the first floor was done, boom. Add on, because we need a garage for the car. And what better place in a house than the garage to build a home gym? I built up the walls, and then I laid down blue rubber mats for the gym, and added some tread tiles for the car to make it a little smoother. Then I created these floating stairs that also double as storage, and that takes us to the second floor, which is gonna be absolutely insane with a rock climbing wall, a driving range, a hot tub, infinity pool, wraparound deck, and a bonus room. But I realized I didn't put a bathroom downstairs, so we're gonna have to put that in here. So. First, I built a little shower, and then a sink and a toilet. And currently, it's just open to the rest of the room, which means it's probably gonna stink. Aww. I ended up turning it into a gaming loft with this super cushy built-in couch and a huge TV. But before we venture outside, I think it's time to start moving in some of Bob's stuff. So first, the kitchen. We've got a Samsung smart fridge, so you never miss a second of your favorite reality TV show while you're cooking some <laughs> lunch. And speaking of lunch, we've got an island with tons of snacks. Mini wheats, glizzies, fruit, pies, pizza, you name it. I also stocked the cupboards full of these really cool candies that are actually Lego puns. And in this corner, I added an ice cream machine Machine, and over here it added the popcorn machine. So that way we're fully stocked for game night, movie night, and Fortnite. The living room has this super plush L-shaped couch. There's a massive 65 inch TV. Then I added this coffee table and this super cool P2 wow. Rex that Bob bought off of eBay. If you couldn't tell, he's a huge Star Wars fan. So we're throwing up his favorite movie poster. And for this corner over here, I added a pool table, which hopefully Bob will use and get better at playing. For his bedroom, I added this cozy bed, a glass front 
fridge, some shelves with trophies on them, this wall-mounted dual monitor streaming setup over this totally sick desk, and an absolute beast of a gaming chair. But it doesn't stop there, because behind it you have this sweet lightsaber collection, which will look great in the background of his videos. Now for the gym. I added a pull-up bar, a bench press, and a place to put all the dumbbells on this rack. There's also a box jump and a tire flip so that he can look real tough. There's a bunch of hooks on this wall, so in the meantime, I added one of these smart workout TVs that like tell you how to do workouts and tell you how bad a form you have and all that kind of stuff. I added this protein smoothie station because Bob's a total natty. And lastly, I hung this punching bag so that Bob can take out all of his anger over rising inflation and gas prices, even though he uh, drives an electric car. For the rest of the garage, I added in some workbenches and tools because um, like that's what usually goes in garages. And then I headed back upstairs to move in another bed, a nightstand, a huge fish tank, and a chest full of gems. Cause like, why not? Oh, and this desk in case you need to check your email upstairs. I needed to close off the spaces first, so I built some roofing on these slanted sections, which gives the living room a vaulted ceiling, which is super high end. And then I added the railing, filled up the infinity pool with this dark blue water, and added some cool toys. I added a rooftop grill, a cement floor top, and this top of the line spa master with massaging jets, and an actual real life Lego palm tree for the deluxe paradise experience. This green area is a great place for Ross to play, but look out because you might catch Bob's caddy hitting balls into the endless backyard. That's right, this is a full blown driving range with a caddy included to go retrieve the balls. Just still in good shape. We'll call him Dylan. And for this last rooftop item, I've included a full-blown rock climbing wall with routes ranging from easy to extremely difficult. I'm going for the mug hole. It's called a jug hold. Wait, you're done already? Dylan proved to be quite the top G, and he and Bob became great friends. They played games together, ate ice cream. Ross, you can't have chocolate. Bro, that's literally a hot dog. And Bob even busted out his BMX bike to try out some tricks and did a backflip into the pool. Then he dropped into this killer loop ramp and went flying over this jump into the air until he unexpectedly hit the camera. And Bob finally found a spotter in the gym. Life was good until Dylan got the call. No, I'm just kidding. Dylan surprised Bob by throwing a rooftop party and invited SpongeBob, Hi, how are you? Bob Ross, I'm Bob Ross, Jedi Hello Bob, there. Bob's G'day. Burgers, and uh, Billy Bob, Hi. and who invited Bob the Builder? All right, all right, get him up here. We get a rooftop DJ blasting some noise and a major bike upgrade for the stunt show. Oh my gosh! First, let's see if it can jump over Mega Bob. Nope. Let's go! And what about the big loop? Okay, I was clearly having a lot of fun by this point, and it wasn't just me. The guests were absolutely loving it, but they wanted to see if he could jump the entire dream house. Oh my god, Jedi Bob! But I didn't give up. No, that's not the one. There it is! But I feel like the house needs one more thing. So I went downstairs and grabbed my replica ultra rare Yoda's fountain as seen in the front of the Skywalker Ranch at Lucasfilm for the ultimate Star Wars flex. And with that, Bob's gonna need some more activities to try in the future, so comment below your favorite extreme sport and you just might see it in the next video.